What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today I want to show you some secret Google Pixel features that you should check out. And we're of course going to start with the brand new feature that came to the Google Pixel 7 phones and that is face unlock. So what we're going to do is go into our phone settings, scroll down to security and then look for where it says face and fingerprint unlock, put in your phone's pin and then here you'll see face unlock. We're going to go into here and then right here you'll see it says skip lock screen. So what we're going to do is enable this. And what this will do is every time we unlock our phone using our face, it will skip the lock screen and go directly into our phone. So instead of unlocking your phone and then having to swipe up to actually go into your phone, it will automatically do that for you. So this is just a nice feature to get you directly into your phone and having one less interaction that you need to take to unlock your phone. The next feature we're going to enable is called Top Shot. And this is kind of like live photos on iPhones. What it will do is take a short video every time you take a photo. So what it looks like is every time you take a picture, I just took this picture of this plant here. If you tap and hold on it, it will act like a live photo and give you a short video of that picture. But what's really cool about Top Shot is if you swipe up, it will show you all of the frames within this picture. So you can tap on this and then it will give you the recommended frame, but you can always go ahead and scroll through and pick whichever one is the best. So if you're ever taking pictures of your kids and they look away for a second, you can always scrub through here and find the best uh, frame and then go ahead and save a copy of that to your gallery. Definitely a really cool feature, but do keep in mind that Top Shot will take more storage on your phone because instead of having just one little picture, it takes a short video. So if you don't have a lot of storage on your phone, this could be a problem, but I do have another secret tip in this video that might actually help you with that. So the next feature is actually to save on storage space on your phone and it's called Smart Storage. And to access it, what we're gonna do is go into our phone's settings, go to storage and then tap free up space. Then in here, just tap on these three lines up here, go to settings, and then you'll see right there, it says smart storage. And what smart storage will do is delete media backed up to Google Photos that's been on your device for 60 days. I back up all my photos to Google Drive, so I don't need them on my phone taking up space. So this will definitely save you a lot of storage. All right, guys, let's move on to the next tip. And this one is one of my favorites. I always enable this on all of my phones and it's called smart lock. So to access it, we're gonna go into our phone's settings, go down to security, Go down to advanced settings and then here you'll see smart lock at the top. Tap into here, enter your phone's pin and then you'll see there's three options here. Now smart lock is just a way of keeping your phone unlocked without having to unlock it every time you lock your phone. So you see we have three options here. There's on body detection that will just detect if your phone is on you and keep it unlocked as long as you're moving. We have trusted places where you can add an address so like your home address to keep your phone unlocked every time you're at home or we have trusted devices. So if you have like a smartwatch or some earbuds that are connected to Bluetooth every time those are connected your phone will actually stay unlocked. So the one I always use is trusted places so we're going to tap into here and then down here you'll have an address if you don't have your address in here just click add trusted places it will bring up a gps and then up here you can just start typing your address and once you select it every time you're at that address your phone will stay unlocked so if you add your home address every time you're at home your phone is just going to be unlocked you don't need your phone locked you're in a safe place you don't have any security concerns at home i hope and you can keep your phone unlocked so every time you lock it you won't have to go and put your fingerprint or scan your face or anything. Your phone will just be unlocked and open up automatically. Definitely a really useful feature. Moving on to the next feature, this one is called Quick Tap. And what it will do is allow you to double tap the back of your phone to take a certain action. So to set it up, what you're gonna do is go into your phone's settings, scroll down to system, tap on gestures. You can see quick tap at the top. So if we go into here, all we need to do is enable this toggle. And now every time we tap on the back of our phone, it will take one of these actions. So you have a choice between taking a screenshot, accessing your digital assistant, playing or pausing media, showing your recent apps or notifications, or toggling the flashlight. So to show you how it works, if we get out of here, when we double tap the back of our phone, you can see it takes a screenshot. So a really cool little shortcut. What I like to do is actually open a specific app. So if you tap on that and then hit this cog wheel, it will show you all of the apps you have downloaded on your phone. So you can just go through here and select whichever one you want. For me personally, I like to enable Google Maps so you can see it's already, it's already selected there. So if we get out of here, every time I tap the back of my phone, it will launch maps. And then if I'm ever driving around or I'm trying to go somewhere, I can quickly set an address and get going. The next feature is called extra dim. And just like it sounds, it will allow your phone's screen to get really dark. So by default, we have the slider up here. If we bring it all the way down, you can see our phone gets pretty dark and it's hard to see. But at night, if you're scrolling through your phone in the pitch black of the night, this can actually still be a little bit too bright. And you can actually make it even dimmer by going into your phone's settings. Go to accessibility, 
and then find where it says extra dim right there. And you can see it says dim the screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness. So if we enable this, you can see our phone just got a little bit dimmer. But if we go into here and slide this all the way down to the bottom, it actually gets a little bit darker. And that's just gonna allow you to use your phone a little bit easier at night without it being a little too bright. All right, for the next secret feature, what we're gonna do is enable auto rotate. Now you might be wondering, that's not really a secret feature. What are you talking about? But if you actually tap and hold on it, it will bring up a new menu. And in here you can see there's an option for face detection. If you enable this, what it's gonna do is use your phone's selfie camera and your phone will recognize what orientation you're in in comparison with the phone. So if you're ever laying down, it won't actually flip the image for you and keep it vertical on screen just like that. All right, let's move on to the next feature. This one is called Now Playing, and what it will do is listen to any music in the background and then save that music in the history so that if you ever hear a track at the mall or maybe in your car where you caught the end of a song, if your phone recognizes it, you can actually go back and see what that song was called and download it to your playlist. So what you can do to activate it is go into your phone settings, and then up here in the search bar, we can just type Now Playing and your phone will filter through all your settings. You'll see it up here. And then you can see mine is already enabled, but if yours isn't, go ahead and just toggle this on. It's just gonna listen to any music in the background. And then when you come back here later and you wanna find out what song was playing, you can go right here where it says now playing history, tap into here and all the songs that your phone caught will actually be right here. You can see the artist, you can see the name of the song and then download it to your playlist. I actually have it over here on my Pixel 6. You can see this is the now playing history of all the songs that my phone recognized. So I can always come back here and find what song I'm looking for and then download it to my playlist. The next feature is called notification history and this is a really useful one if you ever have a notification on your phone or on your lock screen and you accidentally swiped it away and then you wanna go back and see what that notification was. Notification history is the way to do that. So to enable it, what we do is go into our phone settings, go to notifications and then down here, oh, up here you'll see notification history. Tap on that and then you can see there's a toggle for use notification history. Just go ahead and enable it. I just erased all of my notifications, but you saw right there, all the notifications that I had on my phone were here in the history. So if you ever swipe anything away, you can always go back into your history and see a list of all the notifications you had come through just before. All right, guys, let's move on to the next feature. This one is really useful if you ever lose your phone. You can actually add text to the lock screen of your phone and leave your email or phone number so that if anybody ever finds your phone, they have a way to reach you. So to set it up, what we're gonna do is go into our phone's settings, go to display, tap on lock screen, and then over here you see add text on lock screen. So if we tap into here, you can see we have this little bubble here and we can start typing. So if you type, uh, please return to my email.com, then we'll save that and then we lock our phone. And right there you can see right on our lock screen, we have our message, please return to your email. So you can leave your email, your phone number or whatever other contact information so that if you ever misplace your phone, hopefully the person who found it is nice enough and they'll reach out to you and return it to you. All right, guys, moving on to the final secret feature. This one is a really cool one. If you are somebody who shares your phone with a family member or a friend or somebody else, so if you have children or a spouse that often uses your phone, you can actually create them their own profile that will have a separate space for them to use your phone. So to enable it, what, we, what you need to do is go into your phone settings, scroll down to system, and then you'll see down here it says multiple users. So if you tap into here, all you need to do is enable it and then you can actually create new users. If you just need to give your phone to somebody for maybe 20 minutes and then they're never really gonna need it again, you can just add a guest profile. But if you have somebody who uses your phone often, like a family member, it's better to create a user and then it will create their own space for them. You can see right there, it says it will create a new space. We're gonna tap okay. You can give this person a name. So let's just call them Dennis and then we're gonna hit okay. And it says creating new user. And then you can see right there, you can actually switch to that user. You can actually enable or disable the phone and SMS features. And then you can also delete the user. So if we switch over to this person, now you can give this phone over to them and they can start setting up their phones. And then once you're done, all you need to do is go back, switch back to your own account. You are the admin of this phone. And there you go, you're all done. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for the secret Google Pixel features that you need to check out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.